All right, we have made it. This is episode number 30 of Christian and Michael's Figure Review. I really hope that you have enjoyed the first 29. Uh, the first 29 episodes have all been based upon wrestling figures. But uh, for episode 30 and 31, we're going to stray from the norm just a bit and review two figures from a classic cartoon series that was my number two when I was a kid behind WWF. I gave you the hint at the end of episode 29 of what the figures would be referring to as in the uh, television series they were from. So if you guess correctly, you're even more awesome in my book. And if you haven't, this is what Netflix is for. But episode number 30, we are going to be reviewing Masters of the Universe Classics, He-Man, the original, it says right there, baby, He-Man, the original, the most powerful man in the universe. These were released as a MattyCollector.com exclusive. They were retailing for something like 20 25 bucks. Uh, I got this guy on eBay. Not terrible. Uh, maybe for about 30 bucks. Um, like I said, when I was growing up, man, if wrestling wasn't on, you could be sure that I was watching He-Man. My mom taped like a six-hour block of He-Man shows on one tape, and I must have watched that thing like 400 times. No joke. Um, the Diamond Ray Disappearance is my uh, favorite He-Man episode of all time. And it's because it was the first episode on that tape that my mom made. So, it's the one that I've probably seen more than any other. But, here is He-Man, Masters of the Universe Classics. Here you see him, he's got his shield, he's got the sword. This is for adult collectors. I like when they put that on there because people are like, dude, you're 29 years old, you collect action figures? Like, bro, this is adult collector on it. Like, it's not for kids. You think a 10-year-old is walking into a store and be like, oh, I want a He-Man. He doesn't even know who the fuck He-Man is. It, these things are made for people my age. You know, we are the ones that watched He-Man. They're not making this for little kids. They're making it for adult collectors. So I'll take a nice look at him in the package. I love the packaging because it kind of resembles uh, Castle Grayskull there. So that's pretty cool. On the back, you got the other figures in the set: Skeletor, Beastman, uh, Merman, Stratos, uh, and uh, King Grayskull. And I think you'll be able to read the bio on the back if you pause it right there. So there you go. All right, so uh, here's He-Man. Let's get him out of package and uh, see what we got. So there's He-Man. He's still in the plastic bubble, and the first thing I notice is that this is a it's a pretty big figure that I'll be careful when I poke my eye out on because Jesus, he, he, he's in here pretty good. I'm not even kidding. He's held. He's held in here by with like six rubber bands, and they're stuck in his articulated ankles, which really sucks. And there's one stuck in his waist. Uh, these were made by Mattel, so a lot of the uh, articulation you expect from a WWE Elite series. Uh, these figures are going to have, because you see the chest joint, they said the ankle, the swivel, all that stuff. So here he comes, he's got his, uh, he's got a shield, he's got the power sword, there you go, I have the power, and when he transforms from Prince Adam to He-Man. Also, which is awesome, because you lose these things like crazy comes with another sword, although this sword, the one that he's holding is double-sided, you can, you can see it's double-sided, 
this sword is only one sided because you can see this is just more like a prop because excuse me too much Mountain Dew uh, here you can see this is just single sided and also in here is the battle axe which I'll just store because you know He-Man's all about the sword so there you see He-Man I mean this is a badass figure right here great articulation there you can see some nice detail in the boots although this is a little weird that they kind of he's got like ninja turtle feet if you take a look at it look at that I feel like an indentation where his big toe is on the, on the back here you can see a spot to put his extra sword if that's what you want to do which is pretty cool just a overall excellent figure I mean any He-Man fan would would be stupid not to want to add this to their collection if they collect action figures. Um, these are the only two uh, figures I have from the original Masters of the Universe set that came out in the 80s. And I had to get them off eBay. I don't know where any of my toys are. But they uh, they weren't cheap. And you see He-Man and Battle Cat. Uh, and I did not get to purchase them together, but, you know... It is what it is. This is battle armor He-Man. This is different from this He-Man. And you can just do a size comparison. Look how much bigger the classics is than um, the ones from the 80s. Both made by Mattel. And this sword is like the extra sword. As you can see, it's only single-sided here. <clears throat> yes, it's that bad that you have to get figures from people that have chewed the hands. I mean, and I was looking for original Masters of the Universe figures for a while, and this, for the price, the condition is is too was too good to pass up, even though it looked like somebody got a little hungry one night and tried to chew. And the battle damage thing kind of works, but I'm not going to play with it too much so it doesn't get stuck. But here's the original Battle Armor He-Man and Battle Cat. I love Battle Cat. There you see that. They did remake that figure, I believe, in uh, another Classics line, but it needs a lot cheaper than this one, but I wanted this one. This is excellent right here. And what's cool about the Masters of the Universe Classics is the bios, because the uh, original cartoon series doesn't really give you a lot of information on backstories, how He-Man became He-Man, like, and I know he raises the sword and goes, I have the power, but, you know, how did it come about? If, um, you have Netflix, the two, I believe it was 2003, uh, remake of He-Man and the uh, Masters of the Universe cartoon series that was on Cartoon Network, I believe. There's a three-part, um, movie, but it was, you know, it's just basically, uh, the first three episodes of that series, that was, it was called Origins, actually does a pretty solid job of explaining the He-Man mythos to the fans of the original cartoon series. So that, that was pretty cool. But before we get any longer in this video, just take another good look at He-Man. I mean, I'm so glad I have this. This is one of, you know, there's maybe about four or five figures that I have that if I had to get rid of all my figures, i I could not let go of these four or five, and he's definitely in one of those four or five. He's what I would call a crowning jewel figure. Probably the other one is my NECA uh, Bloody Spit Rocky. Um, looking at my wrestling figures, um, I don't know if I have any wrestling figures that I would definitely say I can't get rid of, but um, I definitely couldn't get rid of. Uh, my movie masters, uh, the Joker from the Dark Knight, um, but there I would have to really go through it. But he's definitely one of them. Like if the house was on fire, and I only had a chance to grab three or four figures, I'm definitely grabbing him. A must own for any He-Man fan. A great addition uh, to an action figure collector's collection. So that's that. And uh, episode 31, 
He-Man wouldn't be He-Man without a great antagonist. And we'll check him out in the next video. So, if you have the power, please rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Christian underscore 973. And we'll see you in episode 31.